07, the city of New York received something like $22 billion in federal funding, in part based on census figures. Uh, we know this information is going to set the baseline for the next 10 years about how we make policy. So everyone has to be counted. The census not only influences the funding districts get, but also which areas will lose or gain seats in the House of Representatives. That's why local governments, including New York, are doing a lot of outreach to get a complete count. I'm proud to announce that earlier this year, Governor Patterson and the leaders of the State Assembly, like Adriano and the Senate, appropriated $2 million in the 2009-2010 state budget just for undercount and to make sure that everyone in New York State is counted. That has not been done in the past. Having undocumented immigrants fill out the forms has always been challenging due to the fear of being deported. That's why even politicians are emphasizing on how secure the process is and the benefits an accurate count could bring to the immigrant community. And I, I think it's the, the greatest contribution that immigrants can make right now is to get a full census count. And I'll tell you another reason why. There might be a negative aspect to it that may be in our favor. If the number really is not 12 million, but say 14 million, that may force some people to say, we better do something about immigration. And I don't mean we better kick them out. We better do something about immigration. Latino leaders and the Census Bureau have four more months to convince those who are undocumented to put fears aside and get counted. They are hopeful the emphasis on the political and economic relevance of the Census 2010 will be more than enough to get a complete count.